Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another military ration tasting. Today I'm going to be tasting this. And this hails from Kazakhstan, and this is a Kazakh military ration. Look how long it is. <laughs> So this ration was very kindly sent to me by Black Dog Bob. Bob, thank you so much for sending this to me along with many other international rations. If you've missed those other tastings, I shall direct you to the playlist above and below. So by the size of this package, this looks like it's going to be a 24 hour ration. It looks like it's separated into three meals. I'm assuming that's going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So by the feel of this, it feels like this contains some cans. And here's the back of it the front of it. It's in this olive drab color and on here in some ink you can see that it's written what the contents are. I can't read this text because it uses Cyrillic alphabet so I'm using my Google Translate app here to try to see what I can translate and from what I can gather this side of the packaging is in Russian and this side is in Kazakh. The Google Translate app doesn't have this camera function for translating when I use the Kazakh. So I'm going to try using the Russian. For example, it does say some of the ingredients, meat, porridge, higher grade tea. Anyways, so I'll, I'll try using that when I actually open these bags. So let's, these are perforated, so let's go ahead and separate these. So, oh, well, that didn't work very well. So this is perforated here, but upon perforation, it just kind of opens it. So I guess we'll have that one first. I'm not sure if this is breakfast or dinner, but let's see if we can translate it using the app. And in the Russian, it says cabbage soup. Oh, did you see that? It said cabbage soup. Wives, evil. All right, <laughs> let's just let's just wing it. All right. So inside here, we have this. Interesting. So it's double bag. That's great. Cut this open. So similar to many other rations I've had, there's no heater unit here. There's no flameless ration heater, no water to add to packets. So I imagine that soldiers probably carry a mini stove of some sort. This looks like some kind of crackers or biscuit. Let's see, army newspaper. So that probably not fly. Army newspaper, okay. <laughs> so that's the army newspaper. This is tea, jam, okay, jam. And this looks, I think it's going to be sugar. Yes, sugar. <laughs> and this can is bok, oh, I don't know what that is. Bokshuk, kipsh, cider. Oh, it's having a hard time translating that. Oh, porridge rice with beef. I don't think this is breakfast. This is going to be some kind of porridge and rice. And because it's in a tin, I'm going to heat it up on the stove. There it is heating up there. Since there are several cans, I'm going to open all these at one time and then heat them all in the boiling water. So this is the next meal. Dinner. So I guess the first one was lunch. Similar kind of setup here. This has, what's this say? Yep, Tuski Asi dinner. Again, some biscuits. Three packets of sugar. Another packet of tea. This is interesting. This looks like it's it's been stickered over some commercial stuff. Interesting. And then two cans in this one. Um, let's turn it, maybe this is the Russian side. Um, lobster? Beef with the lobster. Okay. And then this must be the Russian side on this side. Mm, no. 
All right, so two large mysterious cans. This is dinner. I'm gonna also plop these into the boiling water. <laughs> I'm gonna label these ones with a D so I know which ones are which. Okay, last packet. Doesn't say, not able to translate. Okay, another packet of crackers. I think one of the packets of sugar ended up all over the place. And more jam, sugar, sugar, tea, and sugar, and two smaller cans. I'm gonna remove the sugar. <laughs> Let's see, so we know these ones. I really like the no-nonsense of this. All of them have a little bit of tea, sugar, biscuits, and jam. And then you've got cans for your entrees. Very, very simple. Oh, this one says something from zucchini. Caviar from zucchini. Great. And this one, pat, pate, some kind of pate. So maybe this is some kind of potted meat. If this is the potted meat, this probably doesn't need to be heated up. Okay, I'm gonna heat up the vegetable ones. So as our entrees boil away, let's go ahead and make some tea. Get myself a mug. There's a tea bag. It smells like black tea. Not herbal tea at all, no flavors. And while that's steeping, let's try the biscuits. Now these are the same biscuits in all the three meals. Looks like this is August 8th, 2016. Whoa, and there are the biscuits. These look kind of similar to biscuits that I had in my Russian ration. They look like cookies, but I think they can be eaten either savory or sweet. So let's just try one by itself. Get the Mmm. <laughs> these are not super, super hard. These are actually a lot softer. I was expecting them to be rock hard, but they're not. They're actually pretty flaky. And in terms of flavor, they're very similar to a saltine or an oyster cracker. A little denser, not as light. Lightly salted. Mm -hmm. And very, very plain and dry. So let's have a sip of our tea. And since they gave me sugar, I'll add some sugar as well. Mmm, that's good. I don't usually have my tea sweetened, so it seems extra special with a little bit of sugar. Mmm. <laughs> and that is just a smooth cup of black tea. That's great. Let's dip the biscuit in there and see how that changes it. Mmm, very, very dissolvable. You only need to dip that in there for a second then it turns into a kind of a, a doughy paste. <laughs> so let's try a little bit of jam with that. And by the looks of this packaging, it looks like it's apple jam. If you saw my Russian ration tasting, you know that I made the mistake of thinking that this was some kind of beverage and I mixed the apple jam with hot water and it made a delicious cidery drink. <laughs> a lot of people got a good laugh out of that. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Interesting. I thought it was gonna be apple because it had a little apple-like thing on it, but I think it might be a combination of fruits. It's a little bit tangy too, a little bit tart. And I think it's a mixture of fruits. What kind of fruits, I'm not sure. And it's not overly sweet. I know that I say that a lot, but I feel like sugar is often overused, but nice, like especially with tea. Mm-hmm, really good with tea. It really enhances it. All right, let's go grab those cans of food. Ta -da. Here's our pot of cans. So this is our first one. This was the lunch, and these two are the dinners. I labeled them, but the ink rubbed off. It's fine, I remember that the dented one was the first one, okay. And then here is our vegetable caviar. 
The advantage, of course, of not having to add water to any kind of dehydrated foods and stuff is that you don't have to carry water with you. The disadvantage, of course, is it's heavy. These are also heavier because these are in metal cans as opposed to plastic sachets. These cans are pretty compact though, so relatively speaking, maybe it's not such a big deal. And because the way this is packaged, you could just take one meal at a time. And by ration standards, this one's pretty streamlined. It's pretty minimal. You have your entrees in a can, crackers, tea, and jam. I like that. Let's do breakfast first. This is the vegetable caviar. Be careful when opening this. It's very hot. So this looks like a puree. This almost looks like a soup. It's a little bit thicker than a soup consistency. And it smells like tinned soup. It smells like vegetable soup. It tastes like a vegetable soup that has some tomato in it, but it's very, very metallic tasting. I think maybe there's some acidity from some tomato in there that has leached some of the metallic flavors from the can in there. But yeah, maybe some carrot in there is a little bit sweet. It's okay. <laughs> Let's have it with a cracker. Mm. It's definitely better with a cracker. It neutralizes some of those tinny flavors and it makes it feel more substantial. Yeah, that one's not my favorite. <laughs> Let's try the other tin that breakfast came with. And this, I believe, is going to be some kind of pate. Yep, and indeed, it looks like some potted meat. This is very smooth. And let's have it with our cracker. Here we go. Mmm, that's pretty good. Very smooth consistency, rich, creamy, very livery. I think this might be a liver pate. I love liver, adore it, but if you don't, you probably won't like this. It has a very strong livery flavor, which is kind of irony, slightly metallic, meaty, and gamey. I love it, but many people find it a bit strong. Not me. Mm. Okay, so now that we have breakfast, let's continue with lunch. We're gonna open this can right here, and this one's very hot to add as well. Wow. I like the fact that you don't need a can opener. I had a can ration from Japan that I had to use a can opener for, and this one I didn't. Wow, look at this. So this is cool. This looks very similar to something I had in my Russian ration. And let me just pour this out for you. There's some meat in there, and it looks like buckwheat. It looks kind of similar to rice. I believe it's called kasha. And there's actually a lot in there. And there's some fat in there as well. Looks like a very energy rich dish. That can actually holds a lot of food. Mmm. That's not bad. Mm hmm. Pretty heavily salted. The kasha is very, very, very soft. It tastes like beef stew, but the flavorings are very, very simple. It's salty, and it tastes maybe a little bit of allspice or something. Very soft consistency, and it's full of fat. It's very, very rich. So that was lunch. Let's do dinner. These both sound soupy, so let's put this one in a bowl. Oh, yes. It actually isn't a soup. Kind of looks like a soup. It's actually more of a stew. So a very rich soup, lots of fat floating on top, and meat, nice little gelatinous pieces. That looks like it's rib stick and food right there. This one sounds kind of juicy too, but I don't think it's a soup. Ooh, this looks like another green meal. Oh, this one looks like it's barley. Barley. Stew. I'm going to try the meat first. Mmm. Wow, that is very salty. Very, very, very salty soup. The meat is very well cooked. It's full of meaty flavor and fat. This whole top layer is fat, which is really important if you live in a cold climate. Kazasag, by the way, is located in Central Asia. It's the largest landlocked country in the world. It borders China and borders Russia to the north, so there's a lot of those Russian influences in the food. The meat is very, very tender though. Let's have it on a cracker. I think that'll absorb some of the saltiness. All right, here we go. 
Again, much better on the cracker. The cracker gives it some textural crunch, which is really nice contrast to the softness and gelatinousness of this meat and also absorb some of that broth, although it is still too salty for me. All right, let's try this. And this is barley, and this too looks like it's in meat. This looks very similar to the tin that was in the lunch, except the grain is barley. Hmm, very different flavor because the grain is barley. I feel like it has more flavor than the kasha. That was more neutrally flavored. I actually prefer the kasha one better. The barley has a quite strong flavor, which isn't bad, it's just strong, and a much softer texture. This is almost more like a paste. The meat in here too, I'm not sure. I think it might be beef as well. Mm -hmm. And again, very, very rich and heavy. Lots and lots of fat in there, but again, really important in cold weather climates. Let's have some tea. Oh, really good with the tea, with a little bit of sugar in there. It really balances out a lot of the salt that's in the meal. Mm. So there you have it, a Kazakh military ration. I really enjoyed the simplicity and humbleness of this ration. And big thanks again to Black Dog Bob for sending this to me. This was a real special treat. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to check out the military ration tasting playlist so you can see other rations, including my fumbles through the Russian <laughs> MRE. And I shall see you in my next video. Oh, share this video with your friends and follow me on social media. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>